We're learning more about a far-reaching cyber attack that hit the city of Toronto earlier this year. It turns out some 35,000 people's information may have been compromised. CTV's John Woodward is live with more, and John, unlike other organizations targeted by online criminals, the city may have gotten lucky. Nathan, that's right. The city says it's confirming that the so much metadata was stolen, but says it didn't have any of its operations affected and it didn't even receive a ransom note. The Toronto agency that manages civic theatres may have been hit. Same with the Toronto Police, Toronto Hydro and the Mayor's Office. Among more than 30 city divisions at risk in a cyber attack in early 2021, according to a report obtained by CTV News through a Freedom of Information request. The attackers did steal some of that metadata, which is data about data, um, and they went back in and they purged the logs. Metadata, including information about roughly 400 people in long-term care, including vaccination information, information about as many as 110 patients in Toronto's paramedic service, and about 3,000 individuals in public health, including COVID test results, and property tax data, about 30,000 taxpayers, for a total of about 35,000 individuals. The city pointing to an Eastern European group named CLOP that took advantage of a weakness in a file system called Acelion and saying in the report it can be assessed with high confidence that the compromised data contained within the leaked city of Toronto's Acelion database may soon be revealed on the attacker-managed public forum. That's what happened in Durham Region with information about the health and schooling of tens of thousands of people posted, as well as a video of an arrest of a man on a Durham bus. But in Toronto, nothing seems to have been posted. It looks like they failed. Uh, the silence is somewhat deafening. Perhaps because the metadata that was stolen wasn't as sensitive as the records themselves, or because the group had so many other targets, the city has denied paying a ransom or even getting a ransom request, though many others have paid up. More than 4,000 companies have now had their data stolen and released online by ransomware gangs. So this is far, far from uncommon, as happens very often, and the data is often very sensitive. With each subsequent million dollars that's being paid into the ransomware ecosystem, this is turning into a, a, a real business. And we're looking, again, at billions of dollars in 2022. The Toronto Transit Commission is in the midst of its own investigation into a ransomware attack that affected some of its systems in October and November, perhaps hoping it can get off as easy as Toronto. The city says it no longer uses the program that was hacked. Ontario's Information and Privacy Commissioner continues to investigate, pointing out that ransomware attacks have gone up by 151% last year. And last year, Toronto was just one of 39 public agencies to be attacked. Reporting live, I'm John Woodward. Nathan, back to you.